<laughs> so the we're in Shara Rishon Sefirat Hamalchut, the Sefira of Malchut. It says Rav Yosef Chikatilia. Acharishem Asarim lo biyedcha ikarim alal. Not that I have given you over the rules, the the main rules. Liotam kidimyon yesod veikar lemashanu atidim lefaresh. Keep them in mind to what we're in the future gonna explain. One must delve into now the meanings of every one of Hashem's names in the Torah. No, the closest name of God to every human being. This is the name that you first must go through to go to Hashem. There is no way to, to go in front of Hashem. But through this name. Who is the name? Who Hashem Amonai. It's the name Aleph Dalet Nun Yud, my master. That's the that lowest, means before right? you go to Hashem, first you must call him Amonai. That's the lowest. That's the lowest level and the first level. It's not just lowest level. You have to go I'm through saying, the right, level. That's the, you're leveling Admission. up after that. Admission. When you see this man, don't you say the master of all? You're talking about the translation to, right to now. Get into He's that. talking about... I'm praying to Hashem. I'm doing what you do to Hashem. And I want to call out to God. That's how we start to And I call out to Him. What name, what name should I call out to Him to get what I want? First, before I even ask Him anything, I must call out with Him with name Amona. Right? The first thing is Amona. Amona, first you must say, Keta Da. No. The name you came off, of Hashem, shows that everything exactly everything comes from him and everything is dependent on him. Of the name, the of you came off, yeah, of the name. Yeah, of the name. Yeah, of the name. The key to get into Shem Havaya is Amonai. Amonai is the key to get in. That's why. Every time you say Baruch Atah Amonai, you have to think of Havaya and Amonai together. That's why they write in a lot of the Right, that's why we say Amonai, but we think Havaya. Mm. Who knows these things? Who thinks of these things? No one. Vu Sof Kol Amalot, it's the last level. Shel Hashem Yilbarach Milemala Lemata, from below to, to the top. Va'ad Shem Amonai, Hu Yisod. הייחוד האמיתי השלם, כמו שעדיין נפגש את השם, ומשם ולמטה הוא עולם הפירוד. From Keter, we didn't know, we didn't say it was the name of Keter, until Amonai is called the completeness of God. From Amonai and below, already to perceive God is tough. God is in a state of hiding. Until Shem Amonai... You see God completely. You perceive Him in a complete way. Shouldn't be the other way around? No. From Keter until Malchut. We said, we're talking about the Sphira of Malchut now. So Malchut is the last Sphira. It's Shem Amonai. The that means from Keter until Amonai, Malchut, it's a one Shi'ur Koma. It's Olam Ha'atzilut. Mm. It's Hashem. There's nothing else but Hashem. Adelo Yada. <laughs> but from Bria. Asia, it's already the world of disconnection. That's us. Right, we're in Asia. Right. When you call out to Hashem, first you have to start off with the last name. Interme like you're, you're already you're, going through. You're going through everything. You have to get, first of all, right, in Tefillah, for example. Because how do we do it in Tefillah? You have to start from Malachi. You're leveling up. Right, first you have a Nefesh, then a Ruach, then a Nishama, whoever is Zochet to Achaya, Yechida. So, What's the, what, how do we do it in tefillah? First, we do korbanot. We take asiya and put it into yitzira, which is the zmirot. And then from yitzira, we put it into the bria, which is yotzer or. And then we do shema and shemona yisra, which is olam ha'atzil, and we ask Hashem for wishes. Which ones? That's the secret of tefillah, right? You, you, it's not that I just jump to Amonai. It's First, I gotta take asiya and put it in yitzira. And Yitzira into Bria, and then I start from Amonai Sifatai Tifta. So when you pray, so when you skip, 
beginning of everything in order for, your, for them to like, be heard? We do. Well, how do we start off Shmona Yisrael? No, before the Shmona Yisrael. No, first, we, Amonai, first we didn't even get to Amona yet. First, you got to get in Tefillah, I'm saying now. Okay. We start from Asiya, which is, which is Korbanot. <laughs> Right, we put it all. In, we we gotta make all the worlds into one, and then put it into Amonai. That's why we start at Tfila with Amonai. So when, you, when you skip, when you go back and forth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When your person skips Tfila, he's making balagans over there. So uh, what? Well, I can't get to, uh, the Hazan is, really, is so fast. What happens when you get to Shmonai? So huh. you come early. That's what. I... Start early. Pick a different shul. Can I tell you? Go on your own you pace. From Corbano, all the way from everything. I mean. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ah, really? yeah. Shema, 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 Shema. Shema. You gotta say Shema. You gotta say Shema. You gotta say Shema. You're asking me Halacha. You're asking me Kabbalah. Halacha. Halacha is, is Zma. First of all, you have time until almost ten thirty right now to say Shema. What if you're in the minion? Ten fifteen. What if you're minion? You have until ten fifteen to say Shema. No, he's staying like you're gonna work. How are you gonna? Uh, uh, say, by no, the time no, you finish no, the whole thing, when you're the, 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 yeah, they are ahead. You're behind or whatever. Backwards. So you, you gotta know. You gotta know the halachot. So what's the halachot? I don't say with that. The halachot. Yeah. If you're behind, you have to go according to your own pace. pace. When they get to Shema, if you're still zman of Shema, why do you have to jump to Shema? Yeah. They saying Shema, you have to act as if you're saying Shema. Go like this. But you're saying whatever you still need to say. You're still in Olam HaYetzirah of the Bria. You can't jump levels. Right. You understand? When you get to Shema, you get to Shema. The, the problem is when you're late in Tefillah, a lot of people don't know this Halakha. If you're, let's say, for example, in Yetzi, V'Nachom, V'Kayam, V'Yashar, and he's already starting Chazara, mm -hmm. you can't rush to get to Shema Yisra because you're going to miss number one Kedusha. You're going to miss... You can't miss those two things. If you're in the minyan, you cannot miss kiddusha. You have to say. And if you're if you're in the middle, of the, if you're in the you middle, you stop. Of the no, you stop wherever you are. You're in vayatziv. Yeah. You stop. He says kiddusha. You answer kadosh and baruch. Oh, you have to answer. You must stop. Only kadosh and baruch. Okay. Then when he gets to modim anachnu lach, you don't you don't answer anything else. When he gets to modim anachnu lach, you say modim anachnu lach. That's it. That's it. And wherever you are, you just that's, say that. that that's but that's in the middle of... If you're in Baruch, no, no, no. if you're in Sukei de Zimra, Asherei, this, that, you could answer everything. No, no, but what if, you're in, in, uh, what if you're in your own Shemona Yisra and they started their... Uh, you're uh, in, first of all, you're in your own Shemona so you can't answer anything. Yeah. What if you're towards the end, you're fine. Only if you're after the second you you le right. Which is at the end. Right, right. right. But uh, it's a so problem. Wait, if I'm in the middle of, if I'm doing my own, my own pace, my yeah. own pace, Shmona uh, Esra, and Kadosh comes up, I just, I just. If you're, it depends where you are. Like I said, for, let's, if, I just, let's just say I'm just up to uh, what it says, uh, the prayer for the sick, for example, right? The prayer for the Rufa, sick. Rufa, 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 yeah. You're in Shmona yeah, Esra. No, you cannot. You have to, no. You you have to just listen. You can't say anything. You can't nothing in front of us. Do you continue? Do you do you stop and just hear it? Or if you, you know that the chazan has kavana on you, you should stop and well, listen. No, Otherwise, just go through it. If you know that he's some shlomiel, what are you even doing there? First of all, you just wrap it. Wrap it city for them. Yeah, right? uh, spin city. Yeah. Let's, say, let's say you're at some shalom. Do you rush out? Then it's a very good question you're asking. Uh, if you, if you're in Sim Shalom already and he's already getting to Kedusha, I would hurry up to finish to say Kedusha with him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Personally, because for me it's very important to say four Kedushas a day. A day. You understand? 90 amens, four Kedushas, mm -hmm. uh, 100 Barachot, every person should be makbid on that. Four Kedushas, what? Kadosh Kadosh? Kadosh Kadosh. So you have three in Shacharit and one in Mincha. Right? On Sunday, you're good because Sunday in Aravita of Motzei Shabbat, you also have a Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Saturday. So you kind of, if you miss a Kadosh, you're good. In general, if you are a religious Jew, if you're really religious, there's no such kind of thing as missing Zman Kriya Shema. Hmm. There's no such thing as missing Tfilah. Cool. If the Muslim, Lahavdil, could pick up his his tuchas and say Allah Wakba even though their tefillah is a joke two seconds it's two seconds literally but uh, you could definitely make time to daven and you know it's all a, it's all a matter of 
habit. Yes. Obviously, tefillah shouldn't be a habit, but mitoch shalo lishma, balishma. First, it's a habit, then eventually you're going to learn how to make it into tachanunim, if you really want. Okay? So the first name is Amonai, right? So he's the Hasod, and this and the secret of Amonai is the is the river that comes out of Gan Eden to give life to the garden, and from there comes to four heads. So the four heads of the garden, the four rivers, is Aleph, Dalet, Nun, Yud. Those four rivers? No. Amona, he's connecting it to Amona. You don't see it? Look at the next sentence. And don't ever say Yud and Hey and Yud, love, yud K. K. Yes. That was the Avera of Rabbi Hanania ben Tradion. Remember, he was burned with the Sefer Torah? That's what that was. He didn't actually say Hashem's name, he just used to say the letters. Look at Rashi over there. Yeah, he did, but he would teach it. It was for the sake of teaching. <clears throat> and his level, he should have been very careful. But he only did it to teach. He shouldn't have done it. So we have to be very... He, and the Ari says he didn't even say Yud Kei Vav Kei. He would say the Milui. Yud Vav Dalet and He and Yud. Yeah, he, he wouldn't even say Yud Kei Vav Kei. But still he shouldn't have said it. <coughs> there's no... By the way, there's no Avera to delve into the names of Hashem. We're learning the names of Hashem right now. The Jewish people have always... Especially the Sephardic and some Jewish people like the Hungarian Ashkenazim. I'm not talking about the German and po Polish yeah, yeah, yeah. ones. Those guys, they just want to learn Gemara all day. I'm talking about the more Amami ones, the Hasidic ones, the Sephardim. For us and all of our generations, the Sephardic Jews, they always had a Chacham that knew the names of Hashem, wrote Kamiyas. Yeah. Yeah, Sephardim are very, were very big into that or, until today. It, it stopped for a while, but guess what? It's getting, it's getting back to that, yeah. You just have to know who's the fake ones, the babas, the babas. I feel like there was always... There has to be. That's, that's the greatness of the Jewish people. They know Hashem's names. Yeah. I personally don't, delve, I don't deal with these things. It doesn't interest me, I'll be honest with you. But uh, Pidio Nefesh is this, that, you know, whoever needs help. Kabbalah Masid, yeah. Kabbalah Masid is not an Avera if you know what you're doing. You just need to be Tahor. Right? You need to be Tahor. What's an Avera with writing with Kamiya for a person? The Gemara talks about, we learn in the, in the Mishnah Shabbat, people yeah, yeah. who used to wear Kamiyas. Rav Kuk, the Rav Arashi of Israel, used to wear Kamiya. He used to wear Kamiya Mumche. Rav Yud Aftaya used to wear Kamiya. I don't think Baba Sal used to write Kamiya. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Rav Kadur used to write a lot of Kamiyas. Like non-stop. He has a book. Just what, which Kamiya works. And the Kamiya needs seven different conditions to work. You need to know what time to write it. Yeah. You, yeah. You need to know which angel to make a swear on. You have to be in a certain state of tahara. But there's no. If you know which Rav Kaduri, this was his thing. He was. He was me. He was a special. He had a specialty. That was his field. Yeah, it was his field. He was very good in it. Besides for being, you know, all of his power was Rav Kaduri's. The Ben Ishchai told him how to reach, tap into his power. Shtika. Mm. Check all of his videos. It doesn't say a word. Shtika silence. Complete silence. He would never say a word. He would sit with people. If he would talk, he would laugh. Just laugh. That was his talking. Yeah, it was the only laugh. They say when he was younger, he had an anger problem. And Ben Ishai told him, just laugh. Whenever you get angry, laugh. But he was very, yeah, that's what he used to do. They said, nobody knew his real age when he passed away. They some, uh, ben Ayal says he was 126. Really? Rav Ben Ayahu says he was very close with him. They say he was 108, but Rav Ben Ayahu says no, they don't know his real age, but he told me once what his age was, and he was 126 when he passed away. Oh. Rav Khaduri. Well, how long ago was that? How should he pass away? Like 19? Say? Like, and his brother was 123. So, recent. So, recent. Uh, so, uh, recent. Uh, so, uh, no, it says over there, 120 is the... Max. Is like, not the max, but it's the uh, ballpark. A lot of people work till 120. The Torah says, yeah, it's not, it's not, First of all, it's not, it's not, it's not, for some people, it's not a blessing. You know, yeah. there was one guy, Rabbi Kleinman told me this. He was a friend of his, I think. Mm -hmm. He got till 90 something and he stopped tasting food. Mm, that's the worst. Food yeah. had no taste for him. And he just stopped eating. Hmm. What's the point of eating? What's the point of eating? There's no taste and he died from starvation. Mm -hmm. He starved, he could, he just didn't want to eat. 
The, the David HaMelech says once you reach 90, there's almost no point to life anymore. Why? Say ah, that's the, so that for that you have to work on yourself right now. What are those guys sitting in the park? When you pass those guys, you must say the first chapter of Tehillim. Play Shesh Besh all day. Play checkers all day. That's a life. That's why people, whatever they do, they don't want to stop working. Work it gives them a purpose. A purpose. Yeah. It makes them young. Person who learns Torah, what does he care? Give him a house. Give him a cup of coffee. A pot of coffee. <laughs> And that's it, he gave him his farim and he's connecting to Hashem all day. But a person who doesn't have that, he needs to work. Right? He needs a purpose in life. So he says, those four, those four rivers that come out of Gan Eden, out of Eden really, to the Gan, are the four Machanot HaShechina, the four camps of the Shechina, which is under the name of Amonai. Aleph Dalet, Nun Yun. Which is the last level of God. Last level of godliness revealed. That's a better way of saying it. If you want to picture in a way the name Amonai, not picture God, but picture the name Amonai, think about it as a house full of rooms of treasures. And it is the power source of all the pipes that come out of Yudke Vavkei. There are three names that are actually one on top of another. Three names of God. Amonai, on top of that is Havaya, on top of that is Ekeh. Ekeh is the highest? Ekeh is the highest. So it's Ekeh. Havaya and Amonai. And they're all in the middle. And they're all in the same middle column. Exactly. Keter, Tiferet, Malchut. So I just taught you guys. Yeah. Keter is Ekyeh. Yeah. Yeah. Or did God tell Moshe, Ekyeh, yeah. Asher, Ekyeh. Yeah. I'm taking you guys out with Keter. That means that the 50 the is gay. That means yeah. really you guys are not supposed to come out. And I don't care that you guys <laughs> can't come out because the whole point is for me to show my great mercy. Yes. And then Tiferet, which is the Torah. We got the Torah. Then Malchut. Then the Malho, which is the Shekhinah Kedoshev. Oral Torah, which is Purim. By the way, the whole fight of Hanukkah, when we will get to Hanukkah, we'll expand on the, the Shiur of Hanukkah. Hanukkah is an amazing story because really the truth, the truth, the truth, the story of Hanukkah has never ended. I always tell this to you guys. I hope you guys remember. Years, man. The Hanukkah, the story of, yeah, we've been in the story. We're ne we never stop yeah, the story of Hanukkah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's keep on going. It just keeps on going. And uh, the, the fight of Hanukkah is the fight of the oral Torah once again. It's all about the oral Torah. It's not about the written Torah. They don't care about the written Torah. Let it stay. They want it in the museum. Let it stay. It's our tradition, you know? They're fighting the oral Torah. If that goes, then we're... If the oral Torah goes, there's no so point of anything anymore. We're just another nation. With the end of gives the Shefa to the name Ekyeh. Aleph K, Yud K. But Derech HaMa'alot, Ad Shegiyeh L'Shem Hashem, until it gets to Yud K, Vav K. So from the end Sof to Ekyeh, from Ekyeh to Yud K, Vav K, from Yud K, Vav K, Kol Ratzin Arot, L'Shem Amonai, gets to Amonai. And also, also, your Neshama is the name Ekyeh. So which is the highest. Right, your Ruach, it's Havaya, and your Nefesh is Amonai. So also, when you look at a candle, at a candle, yeah. Eke Havaya Amonai, Eke 21, Havaya 26, and Amonai 65. Is it going to be what Gematria? No. Yeah. Very good, 250. And that's when you look at a candle, when you light a candle, you got to think of those three names Eke Havaya Amonai. That's the three colors in the candle. The same way you have Amen. So right, right. Wait, so right. right. Wait, this so. is in a net. Yeah, yeah. When you write Ekiya on the Torah, you also have that same Kavana when you write Ekiya. Ekiya, yeah. Ekiya is Shem Hashem, of course. Same, same Kavana. All the Shemot of Hashem, you have to have a... You have to buy... If you want to write a separate Torah, you're not there yet. No, no, no. You're very far from that. When you buy... A, when you will want to write a separate Torah, you have to buy something they have right now in Israel. They have this whole year too. A separate Torah. That you could copy from, and it's in colors. Write down what name is oh, kadosh, yeah. what color. name is a safek. Color coded. Yeah, it's all color coded, and you have to now. They even have today, it's a kind of a paper. You put it under your cloth, and you could even trace it. Trace it. Trace it. Well, tracing paper. Huh? Yeah. 
No, but your cloth is on it. Yeah, yeah. And you could right it's away light, trace. It has a light behind it. Yeah, it has a light, exactly. Amazing stuff. You can write with metal pen. You can write with ceramic so pen. So is a he said? No. According to Sfaradim, it's allowed. I already talked to you about that. But you said don't do it anyway. I said don't do it because our Mordechai Eliyahu was against it. Uh, but many people today write... The, the favorite pen today is a ceramic pen. Yeah. You can write with that. What, the tip of ceramic? No, the tip of ceramic, the pen, yeah. What's the significance? There's no significance. It's easy to write with. You can write. Is, you is can keep on writing. Is your Torah being written? Our, our Sefer Torah is being written with. Uh, first of all, the, our Sefer Torah over here is written with bamboo. Bamboo. That's the highest bamboo. level. Right. And also the new Sefer Torah is being written. By the way, I have mezuzot from my rabbi. Five mezuzot I got. I bought from him. You guys wanna with kavanot? Mezuzot with kavanot. Huh? We'll talk about it later. Uh, put one aside, put one aside one. I already gave you mezuzot. <laughs> The name, I'm, let's just finish the paragraph. The name Amonai is the treasure house of all of the kings. That's where the king leaves his, his treasures. His Tachsisei Amelech means kind of like the armament. From Shem Amonai comes the Parnasa of everybody. That name of Hashem is the name which Parnasa comes from. Bekoach Havaya, only because Yud Kevavke is in it. Mm. That's why when you say Amonai, you always have to think Yud Aleph, Hey Dalet, Vav Nun, you gotta put the Havaya in it. Al Piv Yetzu, Al Piv Yavo, Kol Abayim, Lidabek B'Shem Havaya, only through the name Amonai could you stick to Shem Havaya. Ve'en derech v'tzad v'en derech v'shem Havaya, le'ad Amonai, there's no way to come to Havaya only through Amonai. Mm. Only. Lefichach ze Hashem hu beta ha'otzai, that's why it's called the house. In the house is Yudke Wavke. It's also called a, a Hechal. Hechal is a hallway. Hechal HaMelech. Shebo Shochen Avaya in which Yudke Wavke rests. And therefore we always see in the Torah that Yudke Wavke is always read Amonai. Because the way to get to the Yudke Wavke is to read it as Amonai. When we get to Olam Haba, we're going to read you came off gay, and we're gonna have in mind Ekhid. Kilomar kod mevakesh Hashem yimtzeinu b'Shem Amonai. Whoever wants to find Hashem has to first call him out as my master, Hashem Amonai. Then in the next part, he's gonna say that the name of Yud Kevavke uh, has fifty-four different ways of writing it, and each one is a different uh, interpretation, but we're not going to get into that right now. So have a mind, and we're in the bottom of page 13. Yud Gimel. Yud Gimel. Right? Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen. Laila Torah. We say.